Harry Potter's first year at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry was very eventful indeed. Along with his friends, Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger, Harry had managed to defeat Lord Voldemort, the greatest dark sorcerer of all time. But now Harry was back at number four Privet Drive. He was often locked in his room, and even though he was a wizard, he couldn't escape because he wasn't allowed to use magic. Then, one evening towards the end of the summer holidays, a house elf named Dobby appeared. Dobby warned Harry not to return to Hogwarts. Harry Potter must not go back to Hogwarts. If Harry Potter goes back, he will be in mortal danger. There is a plot, Harry Potter, a plot to make most terrible things happen. Dobby disappeared, and shortly after, Ron Weasley and his brothers Fred and George arrived in a flying Ford Anglia to rescue Harry from his prison. Harry told them all about Dobby's warning. Very fishy. I reckon old Dobby was sent to someone's idea of a joke. Can you think of anyone at school with a grudge against you? Draco Malfoy. Eventually, they landed at Ron's house, the burrow. Touchdown! Ron's mother, Molly Weasley, marched across the yard and came to a halt in front of them. She didn't look pleased. Bed's empty, no note, car gone. Out of my mind with worry. It seemed to go on for hours, and Mrs. Weasley had shouted herself hoarse before she turned to Harry. Very pleased to see you, Harry, dear. Ronald Weasley, I thought I asked you to stop that ghoul from making such a racket. He's still dropping pipes over the attic floor. It's driving me mad. Come on, Harry, let's go. And they did. Welcome to my home. It's not much. I think it's brilliant. Thanks, Harry. We call it the burrow. Come on, Harry. If the ghoul has locked the attic door again, we've got to try and find another way in. I see Dad has placed some crates in the garden. Why don't we use them to climb up onto the roof and then into the open attic window? Seeing you've been stuck at the Dursleys for so long, you can practice your knockback jinx on the crates. Remember, you need to press the X button to cast. That's it, Harry. Now the other one. Ronald Weasley, I thought I asked you to stop that ghoul from making such a racket. He's still dropping pipes over the attic floor. It's driving me mad. Oh dear, Mum's really not happy and I think we should avoid her. But let's climb up onto the roof and jump in through the attic window. Watch me and then follow. To climb onto a crate, walk up to it and use the up directional button. Okay, your turn Harry. Push into the small crate to climb on top and then Run over the gap to auto jump. Right, we need to calm down the ghoul. He's banging and dropping pipes and it's driving Mum mad. Use your directional buttons to move the chest. Try and catch 60 pipes before they land on the floor and make a terrible racket. Right, Harry, let's get to it.
I carry? That'll shut him up for a while. Thanks for helping with the ghoul. Ah, oh, that's much quieter. Now, I need you boys to denome the garden for me. Go find Mr. Weasley. He's by the shed messing about with non-magical junk. Right, let's go find Dad. Dad leaves his junk everywhere. It drives Mum mad. Try smashing these barrels with a fully charged knockback jinx, so we can get through the gate. Ginny's over by the Puffs game patch. Why don't you go and chat to her? She's been a bit shy lately. I wonder why. I'm off to see what Dad's up to. Hello, Harry. Pleased to meet you. I'm Ginny. I'm just looking after a Puffs game. Making sure that Fred and George had to play it. Guide the puffs gang over to the bushes and it'll eat them, revealing ever the beans that you can collect. Beans can be used to buy famous witches and wizards cards from Fred and George at Hogwarts. If you guide the puffs gang over to the bushes, it'll eat them, and you may be able to find a famous witches and wizards card. Whenever you get a wizard card, it is put into your folio magi. Press the select button. This will show you the Folio Magi and the wizard cards you've collected at that point. There are two types of famous witches and wizards cards. The silver cards and the four special gold founder cards. 